Welcome to another new video of our channel. Thank you so much to all our subscribers and all of those who chose our videos to learn. Here's a quick tutorial on how to parallel park. This type of parking is known to be somewhat challenging and complex for many, but here I will provide you guys with some examples and tips on how to master this skill. To be able to align your car with other cars near and execute a good safe parallel parking is a challenge for those beginning to drive. When you're going to practice this type of parking, I highly recommend that you guys use these oranges cones and head out to an isolated area with no traffic or cars to safely practice as much as you can. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to do parallel parking using these cones and how to park among cars. Now, when you use these cones for practice, we will slowly advance our vehicle and get as close as we can to these cones, approximately one meter in distance. We will then align the back of the vehicle with the cones and then slowly start to reverse while looking back. When you try to park among actual vehicles, what you will use are the lateral mirrors, in this case my left mirror. You will align them with the other car's mirror. Now back to the other image of the cones. Once you are ready, you will rotate the steering wheel to the right and change the gears to reverse. Once you're at this point, you will start releasing your brakes. So the car will begin reversing slowly. Always remember to keep aware and alert, looking through all mirrors at all times. All right, so let me remind you guys to use the reversing position, which is the one with the right arm placed over and behind the passenger seat to keep in mind when reversing. This is very important. You must keep this in mind, especially when taking the driver's examination. Okay, so now how do I know when to stop the car? How far do I go? Okay, the key is to look through the passenger side window and slowly keep reversing until you find yourself in this position. The cone should be aligned like shown in the screen with the mirror slightly in front and near the bumper. Once here, you will stop once again, turn your steering wheel, but this time, to center the wheels of your car. This will allow the car to reverse back straight and will continue slowly backing up until the cone is aligned with the front hood of the car. Once there, you will stop and turn the steering wheel to the other side, the left side. Then you will continue reversing while checking your surroundings. This is very important. Check your surroundings. Be very careful. Without any movement, you will allow the car to slowly position itself forward until it is properly parked and you're within the lines. You will then change gears to D, drive, and move your wheels straight by moving your steering wheel. Now, how do I know if my wheels are straight? Well, since you are driving and your car is on D, drive, you will slowly let go of the brakes, your vehicle will move forward a little bit, and you will notice if your vehicle is moving curved or straight. 
Make sure that you also have enough space to be able to move and leave later. You don't want it to be a problem. All right, so many of you are probably by now wondering, how do you park between two vehicles? I highly recommend you guys that when you're going to try and park among other vehicles and private properties, that you guys have enough practice and confidence. You don't want to accidentally hit another car. It could be a problem. All right, so remember we discussed Slowly look at your surroundings and be aware and alert at all times. Now, when you found a spot to park, you want to make sure you pull slowly next to the vehicle and switch gear to R reverse. And then, as you can see, I'm going to make sure that my mirror and vehicle mirror are aligned, as I had previously shown you guys. I am then going to turn my steering wheel to the right let go of the brake slowly, and then I'm going to let the car slowly move in reverse until I can view from the passenger's window the other vehicle's license plate. Now, not going to stop until I see the license plate in the center of my window. Now, once it is, I will stop and completely turn my steering wheel completely to my left this time. So afterwards, you will then slowly reverse by letting go of the brakes carefully. Once you're in place, make sure that your vehicle is straight and aligned. Take a glance at the vehicle in front, and that should help. If it's not, stop, look around, move forward, and try again. I honestly cannot stress enough how important it is to practice. Practice as much as you can. Because by practicing, you are gaining confidence. Confidence that you need out there to drive a vehicle. I can't stress this enough. Please be careful and practice as much as you can. New drivers need to relax, feel confident behind the wheel. And then slowly, slowly but surely, you guys will feel that confidence and courage to get yourself out there. So make sure that you practice in areas where there isn't much traffic. And with that being said, I want to thank all of you for choosing Driving TV. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on more educational videos for those new drivers out there. Have a great day.